You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's American Horror Story After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's American Horror Story After Show. Good evening, AfterBuzzers. We are here at the AfterBuzz TV studios talking everything American Horror Story season three, episode 13. It's this four. Um, titled <laughs> The Seven Wonders. Yay! Yay! for the evening, David Schifalitti, joined as always by my lovely, lovely and gorgeous co-hosts, Sarah Huggins, Hello. Jillian Leff, Hi. Oriana Leo. Hi. And in studio tonight, we do have two and a quarter <laughs> guests, um, Aaron Kruger Mikash. Hi, how are you guys Mikash, doing? Yep. Did I say that right? Mikash, okay. Yep. And Mike Mikash. Hello. Yeah. And the head of Kathy head. Bates. <laughs> Kathy Bates Madame approved. Madame Lollery. Kathy Bates approved. Yeah. We're fangirling way too hard over the head. I yeah. Know. <laughs> it's, I can't even We're look at it. We're going to have a full-on photo shoot when this is over. <laughs> so incredible. So excited to have you guys here in studio. We're so happy to be here. And we... we <laughs> I just can't believe you guys can make time for us, to yeah. be honest. And we, let's tell I everyone like who they are. We, yeah. Okay, so Aaron and Mike work on the show. They do makeup and prosthetics. Aaron, you are the head of the yes. team, correct? Yes. Pun intended. Yeah. Pun <laughs> in intended. You have 28 years of film and television experience. You have 19 Emmy nominations. They always surprise me. Always surprise me. Happy to be a bride. No wins? No, no. wins? Mm -mm. But, How dare but they? But you've worked on some pretty incredible things. You worked on Eat, Pray, Love, Running with Scissors, Alpha Dog, Glee, Nip Tug, Sabrina, Sabrina's Teenage Witch, Everybody Loves Raymond, Liz and Dick, <laughs> mm -hmm. which came out oh, yeah, last that was year. Yeah, so amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, Little Lisa. Upcoming, you have The Normal Heart, which I'm yes. super, oh super gosh, excited I'm about. about we, just, we were shooting that at the same time we were shooting season three. I was going oh. back and forth to New York. Oh, wow. Oh, that's oh, no big deal. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> oh, jeez. I couldn't have done it without... The people that uh, make up our team, though, I couldn't have left because they just do such a great job. I was able to leave and come. Who does make up your team? Yeah. Um, I'm the department head of makeup. I have a key, Kim Ayers, and then Mike is our key prosthetic mm -hmm. artist. I have Chris Nelson, and I also have Jason Hamer, who's part of Tinsley Studio. Christian Tinsley is uh, the one that designs all of our prosthetics, mm -hmm. and we all work together to get them on camera. Make that happen. Amazing. 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 And so, Mike, you do, uh, you're the head of prosthetics. Yes. Um, and you ha also have worked on some pretty incredible things. Iron Man 2, The Amazing Spider-Man, John Carter, Lincoln Lawyer, Glee as well, Prison Break, Prom Night, The Changeling. You have five Emmy nominations. Yeah. Did you guys meet Any on wins? the set? Yeah. We did. We did. Which set? No wins. No wins? Oh, he's okay. he also right. 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 You know, oh, two right so You know, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Upcoming, you have Mad Max. Yes, that was fun. That's going to be 2015, right? So oh, next wow. year. Um, and you both worked on 300, right? The Rise, yeah, we were, which is the um, sequel. Yes, um, Justin Raleigh is a department head, and he's one of our pals, and said, oh, I need some help. Can you guys come in? And we were happy to. We came in for about a week or so, and yeah. all the stuff that they shot here, and um, it was really fun. We got to do all the a lot of big battle scenes, so it was fun. Cool. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. And what set did you guys meet yeah. on? We met on Alpha Dog. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah um, she was the boss. <laughs> oh. um, in, yeah, he, there was tons of tattoos in it, and Mike was specifically, um, he did all tattoos when he first uh, started doing working in this business, and um, so he designed all the tattoos for me, and um, came in, and we got to know each other, and uh, now we've been married I for seven years. kind of just hung out on set for Yeah, he go, I don't have to I go could. home yet. I don't have to go <laughs> home yet. <laughs> That's fantastic. We've been yeah, together for ten fantastic. years. Ten years. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Nice. Thanks cool. for being here. Yeah. Thank you for thanks, being here. Thanks so much for having us. Oh my gosh, it was so oh. cool to watch it with you guys too, really I have was. to say. It was great it was watching it with you guys yeah. because you're so you know, into it. We know what's gonna happen and 
we usually watch the show with just the crew members who are just, you know, they're trying to eat lunch. Right. Uh, <laughs> how does it feel to have someone like me squeal like a piggy every time they'd show Cordelia's eyes, right. knowing that was your work? Exactly. Well, that's we great. would, and then we would laugh though when yeah. you were squealing. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's any, any better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it's your work, and you're laughing. Why? Because it's funny that someone's it's funny squealing that someone about it. Is <laughs> grossed yeah. out Reacting. by it. Yeah, yeah okay. that's what makes us laugh. Because a lot of time when we're when we're watching it, um, we were when we were in New Orleans this whole season, obviously, and we would watch it at lunchtime. And anytime some like big thing would come on, everybody would go woo and scream. Yeah. So when really you guys fun. screamed when Thais's character died, I laughed and I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I, know. <laughs> no, I, I loved that in the episode. We were fortunate enough, fans. I wish that you could experience this along with us. But sort of every scene after the commercial break, I'd turn around and be like, Aaron, Mike, okay. yeah, tell me everything. How did you do that? <laughs> um, and I think that we should get into talking about the episode right. because mm -hmm. it was such an amazing way to wrap up the season. Oh, Music good. video montage. Well, Stevie's back, <laughs> oh, which you know uh, how I felt about that. Uh -huh. Best beginning ever. Ever. Hands yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I can't, I couldn't have envisioned it any better. Like, a smile did not leave my face. Well, Stevie's so back, happy. and the girls are preparing for their seven, seven wonders. wonders test, and they're all sort of practicing different things. We see, like, levitation, and Queenie was channeling Nan. I don't know what she was doing there, actually. <laughs> She had her picture and some bones and stuff. They were all they were all she's having. She's kind of trying to like talk to her or something. Yeah, or there you go. Find out how she is. <laughs> hey girl. Yeah. Hey girl. How hey you girl, doing? Hey. hey girl. Hey. Um, Madison's taking a bubble bath. Madison's taking a bubble bath. And Missy Relaxing. is just spinning. No. Yeah. She brought um, a flower back. Mm -hmm. She did. It was fun. Yeah. I don't know. It was a I'm just like really it was excited a lily. about students. I thought it was a lily. It honestly reminded me of mm -hmm. cute. Like yeah. Oriana said, you know, uh, like a movie mon like movie montage, but um, <laughs> like a high school movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was like the Stevie song, like maybe like a like an early late eighties high school movie. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's yeah. doing their own thing in their bedroom. Uh -huh. Like somebody singing in a hairbrush. Like oh, I don't getting know. ready for the prom. Uh -huh. I just getting kind ready of? for their prom. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This was like their coming out party, their big right. reveal. You yeah. know, kind of like your quinceanera or your debut, yeah. you know, debutante ball kind of thing. In that way, it was. It was essentially their SATs, although I never did that before what? my SATs. <laughs> oh. No rituals? You took them. Took them, yes, yeah. obviously, but I mean. Did you wear your lucky underwear, at least? <laughs> no lucky underwear. Oh, okay. I didn't light any candles with my, my eyes. Um, Maybe you should have. Maybe you would have done better. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but we do see, from, from when the girls are talking, we see that Myrtle decides to recreate the Last Supper with caviar, obviously. And champagne. Obvi. And yeah. champagne. Obvi. Obvi. <laughs> it's Myrtle. Come on. Yeah. Which I do have a very strange question about Myrtle in general, her look, <laughs> and how much it was based off of Grace Coddington. And Diane Reeland and yeah. Vivian Westwood. Vivian Westwood. I yeah. mean, there's a, it was a big amalgam of people, and so um, her her makeup is part Diane Reeland, and it was just Ryan had that exact those exact people, right. just like he wanted to look like that, and so it was her hair. Monty Hot is our department head of hair, and mm -hmm. he did this beautiful job on uh, on Francis, and um, and it just kind of the the wardrobe is. Phenomenal. I mean, yes. Lou Eirich yes. is our longtime um, designer, her. and she's amazing. And so, every time she would walk on set, we would all just be like, "Oh my God, look at <laughs> a that! Vision. Look she's at a that! Vision. It's incredible! Look at that!" You know, she'd be like, "It's 100 degrees outside. Yeah. I have on um, like wool tights and a giant <laughs> coat and 16 dresses." <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, that was that's an amalgam of a lot of people, and she's really so cool. So, so does cool. he just give you guys a general idea? Is he like, I want it to be all encompassing of all these people, and you guys, and I mean, go, just, yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you even begin to do that? Well, I've worked with Ryan for eleven years, right? So you know what he wants. Kind of get his vibe, <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, so I kind of will tell him like, this is what I'm thinking about doing, and I'm thinking about doing this. And he's like, okay, good. Well, let's try that, and let's try this. So we do makeup and hair tests before we ever start shooting, so on every character. Has there ever been a wow. time where he's like, no, like that doesn't work for me? Or oh, yeah. Oh, a lot? Yeah, we're like, Not all the time. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Fingers crossed. He's like, I love it. You're like, oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Um, when we had a couple of, we've had over the last few years, we've had a couple like um, in the asylum, we had some issues with pinning down exactly 
uh, some of the characters. They're crazy. Yeah, they, so you're just like doing like eight looks and like getting backstories. For, this is why it's like this. Oh, this is when wow. it all sense, no, I don't like it. I want it more like this. So you're like, oh, start over. <laughs> but he's really specific and he knows right. what he wants. So right. it's that's one of the most rewarding things about working for him is that he always he knows what he wants and he has he's a genius. So. Yeah, he likes to use the uh, twenty percent more. Twenty percent more of that. Ten percent less of that. <laughs> oh wow! Interesting. <laughs> yeah. right. A numbers man. I yeah. dig it. Yeah, fascinating. Exactly. Uh, Thank you for sharing. You? Yeah. <laughs> Something that I could get on board with. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, so they're having their last dinner and. She right. tells them their childhood is over. Mm -hmm. It's time to become a woman. Mm -hmm. So let's start our test. And since we're breaking the rules oh, right. with testing you, because the previous Supremes have named their successors, we're going to start with her favorite, which is telekinesis. Mm -hmm. Which they all. She was pretty much saying we're going to go from hardest to easiest. Right. Because she yeah. said we usually start from easiest to hardest. But she was. She was pretty much said normally you go easiest to hardest, but because we're not doing this the normal way, and we're going to start with my favorite. We're going to start with, with the hardest, though, is what she essentially was saying. Right. Is that right? See, well, I would I think wouldn't... that bringing yourself into the afterlife yeah. and then bringing yourself back is the hardest. I think this Agreed. was just Myrtle's favorite. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think, Interesting. I think oh, so. I got it the same way you did, Ariana. Yeah. My mm -hmm. understanding. Yeah. Was that she was kind of going? We're gonna go backwards because we might as well try the hardest thing first. Or like maybe she meant just mix it up. Yeah, maybe she right. did just mix it up because it is Myrtle. Yeah. With you, <laughs> so we <laughs> see that we see that all of the girls. I wrote a check in my note. All yep. of the girls were able to bring the lit candle towards them. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's one down. One yeah. down. Then they moved on to mind control. Conicillium. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which they all passed as well. Yes. And yes. Queenie and Misty had a little fight. Yeah. Which was awesome. Which was hilarious. <laughs> And then oh, okay. Kyle, uh, Zoe, and, and M.M. fought over Kyle. Yes. Which, yeah. Surprise, was, surprise. Surprise. Um, <laughs> then they moved on to going to hell and bringing yourself back. Transcendence. Yes. Um, Queenie, we know what her personal hell was. She <laughs> chicken, chicken check. So she yeah. comes back first. <gasps> then been there, followed by M.M. Mm -hmm. who... It was a live network musical. Oh, right, the, the sound, sound of, of music. music. And she was playing Lisa. So funny. She's so like, funny. Oh. I wish I could have gotten to see that. Yeah. I love when Ryan brings in things that are happening right now. Yeah, right. that's what so I, good. I really appreciated about this season that it was, you know, obviously modern with yeah. with with a, a hint of a flashback. Um, but I love when he brings in TMZ and yeah. and Liza Minnelli's hip. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we were cracking up in the end. We'll we'll talk about that yeah. later. Zoe, we'll get to it. Zoe comes back next, and in her personal hell, her and Kyle kept breaking up, which I thought was kind of loop weak. Me oh, too. Call the ambulance. It was yeah. weak, but at the same time, what That's I thought. That's your personal hell. I thought she was going to wake up, though, and be like, Kyle, I don't ever want to see you again, because we're just going to keep break, like, breaking up over and over again, and we need to end the cycle no now. Way. That's what mm -hmm. I thought she was going to do. That, <laughs> that would have been, been the answer. Like, yeah. I'm going to break up with you, because we can't ever be together, and we can never be apart, and it's just hell on Earth. So let's break up. But they, she didn't mm. do that. No. Nope. No. And then Misty's personal hell was that she was in science class and she had to kept keep uh, killing a live frog and bringing it back from the right. dead. And being humiliated Which, in front of her classmates. Yeah. And she got, she stuck. got stuck and dies. And poor Turns into pop, dust. She Turns just into ashes. Yeah. 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 And Cordelia is just devastated. I was pretty By sad she loss. was the first to go as well. Me too. I was really pulling for Misty. I, know, I think I you guys all knew that. Yeah. 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 I really liked her. I liked her style. Yeah. She had a certain swamp swagger that yeah. I dug. <laughs> yeah. uh, you just like the way that she dressed. No, I loved her as a person. <laughs> I, thought, I don't know, like, she was a free spirit. Yeah. And obviously her spirit wasn't that free because it she got was trapped. She a really good twirler. That's yeah. probably why it got trapped. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Probably she was free. too innocent. Yeah. Now, while we were screening this, we yes. were watching that scene of, of Cordelia sobbing. Mm -hmm. And it looked like we were, Jillian and I were discussing, was she crying right. or snotting? But she was crying. And Aaron and Mike, you guys were saying that you know, the argument of whether or not Cordelia could or could not cry because of what she'd done to her eyes. Yeah, I think uh, earlier in uh, the last episode, it was there was something said about her tear ducts being broken. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I think it was, um, yeah, or was it the one before when they were looking at um, Fiona's picture? It might have oh, been right. when um, so. the I first time her eyes got acid in them, because then it she could, switched it could have been. I mean, eyes. I know it was mentioned at some point. Yeah. Right. Because I do remember that. 
But we were asking how would she be able to cry with that kind of damage, and you were saying maybe her, you know, her tear ducts were broken. But you were saying that during that scene, Sarah Paulson was actually crying well, was quite bald. a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how did that um, impact the makeup and the prosthetics for the for the eyes? Well, the prosthetics are a really thin layer of silicone mm-hmm. that goes over her own eyelids, mm-hmm. but it would fill up. Oh, there's also a contact that goes over. Sorry, <laughs> that goes over her eyelids, but as she was crying, that was just filling up with with tears. Wow. So they'd cut and I'd remove the th- the uh, the fake contact, mm-hmm. and it would just pour out. Oh, wow. wow! So sh- could she actually see with that on, or it was a covering that she couldn't see actually while she was doing those scenes? We had two different uh, styles of of contact that go over her eyelids. Uh, one had a hole in it, so she could kind of see. Mm-hmm. I mean, but it's like a pin mm-hmm. hole. So sure. it was just, she could see what was yeah. straight ahead. Like if we did stuff that wasn't a close-up shot, we right. would do it like that. Or sometimes we would just take out, in visual effects, they would just take out that dot. That dot. They would just fill oh, it in wow. with visual effects. She liked not being able to see. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it was young. She acted performance. different, you know, when yeah. she can't see, so. She didn't like bumping into the furniture. Right, <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> sure. Well, how was this eye look compared to the other one that she had? Um, well, the original one, she had the, there were like five stages. It was the original acid burn, which mm-hmm. her eyes were very scarred. Mm-hmm. Then we had another, she wore those for a little while. Then she <laughs> had another set that were a little bit more healed. And then she started, he, the skin started to heal. Mm-hmm. And then, so there was a set of prosthetics for that. And then there was um, just painted on the skin. And then there was the blue eye and the um Brown oh, eyes. Right. So mm-hmm. disturbing. Yes. <laughs> and she wore those for a while, and then she right. obviously garden sheared them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. Which is crazy. We can add that to Amazing. the lexicon. Yeah. Oh, I garden sheared them. How, how game was Sarah for all of this stuff? Amazing. She always likes to say, I like a, a black tooth and a peg leg. Yeah. So <laughs> she's, she's like, either commit to it and be really extreme or, you know, don't do it at all. So she's, I've worked with her for. 10 or 11 years and done tons of different prosthetics on her, all different characters, mm-hmm. not just American Horror Story, but other shows. And um, she's a trooper. She's so, she's That's amazing. Awesome. Like 14 hours into a day and she's still wearing those. And wow. That's wow. crazy. And, and doing a work. scene like this, it's yeah. so emotional. Yeah. So there's, um, she's, she's incredible. Wow. So. That's so cool. Such a talented woman. Yeah. yeah. So talented. So. The hack to uh, the test. Yes. yes. They move on to the next level. Well, I love how they didn't really, they no mourning for Misty, really. They well, were kind of like, all right, we got to get They had a moment for their a fallen moment. witch sister. Yeah. And then but they have to move on. They're yeah. like, get over it, bitch. They're like, yeah. all right, we're on a mission. <laughs> Let's do this. We're on a mission. They move on to transmutation. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, by yeah. the way, I just have to say, <laughs> MM's headband, super fierce. Well, yeah, and I earrings love that. with her like <laughs> 60s little look. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I have a thing for her fashion. She <laughs> She's amazing. She looks fashion. so good. Was they all had such distinct looks. Like, I know. I love it. Yeah. So I immediately caught on to this when they started playing the game in the yard because, as Cordelia said, you're done with being children. And I immediately was like, someone's going to die, someone's going to die. Who's it going to be? Oh, my God. And sure enough. Well, I kind of thought that, too, but I was like, how is someone going to die with transmutation? But I figured she was going to get caught somewhere. She's going to come in. wasn't this part of her vision a few episodes ago? Right, right. That she was impaled. Remember, there was, like, this big death Mm -hmm. scene? Yeah. And when um, Cordelia was looking. Yes, mm-hmm. Cordelia yes. was having this vision of how it all ended, and it was like ending yep. all bloody. And somebody was impaled somebody on the was stairs. It was, it was Zoe. It, it was, was Zoe, Zoe mm-hmm. impaled. Right. So, so I, I felt like, okay, there's a connection there, yeah. that she did see something happening, and I noticed it that did too. happen. And it's always, you know, Just MM, so. it's always her neck. <laughs> Yes. yes. You know, it's always she's strangled or right. sliced. I didn't or even she, put that together. She was on the top of the stairs with her head hanging over and it was dripping yes. out of her neck. That's always mm-hmm. her neck. Consistent. Like, shut up. Yeah. Yeah, shut up. Mm-hmm. Shut oh that gosh. dirty mouth. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> clever, clever. Yeah. So he gets impaled. Yeah, he yeah. gets totally impaled. Um, Madison uh, refuses to bring her back and to Queenie life. And Queenie can't. Yeah. So we find out Queenie's out of the game. But Madison is technically still in the game because she kills a bug and brings it back to life. But we don't even know that it's dead. Just because you slap a fly doesn't mean it's dead. It could just be (laughs) stunned. So I was like, first of all, you can't get away with that. And second of all, what a biatch. Yeah. Right. Like, as much as I might have enjoyed her shenanigans up until now, that was, I drew the line right there. I was like, you should go, you're going to die now. 
It was Fiona in the flesh, guys. <laughs> it, was. it was. That's what true. I was thinking. I was like, this is not going to stand. Like, I, no one's going to stand for another Fiona. For a brief moment in time, I thought Frank and Kyle was going to, love was going to conquer all, and he was going to bring Zoe back. I thought maybe he was going to be a warlock. Me too. Yeah. Me too. But then I feel like that would, because he is like a Frank and Kyle pretty much. Like He's a man yeah. servant for yeah. life. Yeah, he's a man servant. Men, we decided, you know, this season men don't really have a voice. No. You know? And if they do, they have to be a ghost or a ghost. Right. A ghost with like <laughs> the tongue cut out so they yeah. can't talk. Yeah. Right. Or they're like a mute. It's almost like right. that, that SNL skit where everybody's like, it's, it's. Bigfoot, Frankenstein, yeah, yeah. and Tonto yeah. all going, Arr. <laughs> So everybody, the men, the men, not so much. No, no. sorry, men. They're stupid jocks or sorry, something. Yeah. Right, right. right. <laughs> That's really funny. So, um, Cord- so yeah. you know, Cordelia doesn't really test her power then. Um, they're all sort of just standing there. And then um, Myrtle sort of is like, listen, girl, Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking What's at up, you. Girl? And <laughs> you can do I've been this. looking at you. I've been looking at you. I can't believe I saw. I didn't see what I see now. I know, like all You've of these come years. Of royal blood. And I just want to say, I called that from the beginning. Yes, you did. Foxy. You did. Do we have a That's bell for the winner over right? here, Steven? 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 Any bell? No. Do we have any all sound right. effect? Ding, 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 Please. I mean, I know I wavered a little bit in the middle, but beginning gut instinct, Foxy is supreme. Yeah, what you else? win. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> Yay. Do I get so a then, Do I no. get to take the head home? No. Oh, okay. Cordelia the then has to perform. Oh. What was that? Better late like than never. Chicken being choked. <laughs> Cordelia then has to perform the seven wonders. And she does so with really quickly. Ooh, with style, grace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we come to divination. Mm. Right. And Madison wants back in at this point. Yeah. She's like, I mean, listen, she's competitive. We know she's a competitive person. Mm-hmm. She competes for Kyle. This has been like a theme of her character throughout the entire yeah. episode. She's she's always in competition with someone. It's how she right. feels good inside. So <laughs> she decides to take her uh, stab at <laughs> divination, and she can't do it. So she's out. And then throws a hissy fit, and mm-hmm. is like, I'm out. Peace out, bitches. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm going to go tell everyone at TMZ all about this place, <laughs> and everyone's going to burn it down. Peace. As if they would let her get away with it. Right. Why? I mean, just her level of um, crazy, like self absorbed mm-hmm. narcissism is amazing that she doesn't ever think of the consequences of her actions like that. Mm. She's such a little brat. It yeah. came full circle for me because in the middle, she wavered a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. she was befriending some people. Mm-hmm. Right. And then it has sort of been just a downfall since she knocked Misty in that coffin and was like, mm-hmm. Peace out, sister. I'm it. God, yeah. I love her. <laughs> I love that character. Let me get that shawl. Yeah. You know, Madison did make things interesting. I actually want to ask you guys a question about Madison. So in her um, first death, mm-hmm. <laughs> when she was, uh, when her throat was slit, um, how was that done? Was there a bag there of blood and and she she hid it or? It's a, it's a prosthetic that wraps around her neck. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, interesting. The cut is already in it. And then there's a tube that goes down to a, a pressure pot. It's like at 80 pounds per square inch. Wow. And then the minute they slide the knife across, we we gun, gun it. it. So. Oh, wow. And then the blood just starts shooting out. Well, because it sort of shot. It shot out. <laughs> now no, I want to rewatch it. The, 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 the camera, camera guys, departments are yeah. always... Go ahead, don't. Oh, they're always like, what, what PSI you guys got there? Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, it's 90. Oh, okay, we're going to cover everything with oh, the yeah. plastic. And um, one of our camera guys, Bryce uh, Reed, was bragging about how he didn't get bloody this year because he's been on all three seasons. He's like, oh, I didn't get blood this year. And I this get was blood a this bloody year. year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're like, ooh, that's good. That so the last good. day, <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah, there was sure. a big, that big pe- pail of blood oh, with Fiona. Right. Mm-hmm. I went up and I just went, Oh. <laughs> and he was like, you got Covered me. him in blood. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. That was, is awesome. They always <laughs> ask us too, like, well, they ask us the PSI, but they're like, so what's it going to be like? I'm like, well, it's kind of going to be the Mexican from last season. It's going to blast. It's going to oh, yeah. be the guard from last season. It's going to dribble a little bit. Yeah, we always come back like, oh, okay, okay. We know how to prepare for that. Character levels. Yeah. yeah. That's um, amazing. Before we move on from the blood and body parts, um, one of our favorite moments uh, during the season was the zombie fight. Ah, and the, the zombie, zombie makeup. Fight. So it was it was extremely intricate. I mean, just one person, for instance, the the older man um, that killed the little boy. Oh yeah. Um, 
his makeup was just, it was so many colors and so intricate. How long did something like that take? Each uh, zombie took probably an estimate around three, three and a half hours. Oh my God. Did you guys wow. have to bring in extra people or was it the mm -hmm. same? Okay. Yeah. We brought in, um, we had um, a couple guys come in, Dave Anderson, who's this amazing makeup artist that I've known forever, and um, Carrie Ayers. They came in um, a couple weeks early to start prepping all of the gags that we did, like all the chainsaw stuff. Yeah. They were right. all that. Mm -hmm. We were in a room in a, in a warehouse making like, uh, what was the guy that got cut in half? Um, the Elvis guy. The Elvis guy, yeah. Right. So we're making this body that like comes apart. Oh wow! And the funny thing about that one is when we actually cut it with the uh, chainsaw, I was pulling on one side, and, and <laughs> my buddy Chris Nelson was pulling on the other side. But he pulled his down so far that his blood wasn't squirting at me, <laughs> but my side was up just a little bit, and it was just blasting him in the face <laughs> for about 30 seconds, and he's going. <laughs> But I'm just like it's a, that's the yes. side that's the side of being on American Horror Story. You're always covered in blood. Oh, so yeah, <laughs> sounds um, like a but yeah. Blast. We had a, we had a lot of people come <laughs> in. Like we had a lot of uh, we had um, five people. We had it was crazy. It was so how many Garcia. extras were on, in on that scene? We had twelve. Um, wow. We had twelve okay. zombies all together, and they were very intricate makeups that uh, Tinsley Studio did, and they had all had contacts and arms and then teeth. Wow. teeth, everything. Also, remember wow. when the when they were cut and the blood would come out, and it was like a sand yeah. or a gravel. Yeah. Oh, right. What was the connotation of that? Was that that they had they were they'd been undead? So they had dead blood, or I was like, it was kind of a, the idea that I had behind the zombies were that because they, it's all above ground crypts. Everything is very like black mold, which is why I did a lot of I designed it with a lot of black um, mm. makeup, and um, that they were just so old that their blood was just dried up. So it was a, a lot that. more like just yeah. dirt came out, and I wanted to do it with all of them, but they really wanted that spray. So we just said, <laughs> okay, well it has to be dark. Yeah. So we made it really dark brown. Brian always comes to Aaron with. I want to see zombies, but I, I want to see zombies that have never been seen before. Go ahead. Yeah. You're just like, <laughs> are you kidding like, really? me? Wow. Like, and it's zombie fest right now, obviously. So right. Right. Yes. trying to come up with something a little bit different is so hard. So we just went completely opposite of, we tried to go a little more yeah. opposite of what's out there I right now. I think you guys succeeded. Yeah. Cause we yeah. were, it was a huge topic of discussion like for us on our panel and the fans too, that it was just, it was a sight to be seen. We tried yeah. to go colors yeah. exactly opposite of what we tried to you make know. it look like their skin was wet and sloughing off. And right, yeah, like they're waterlogged. Red. Yeah. Yeah. Because like the Walking Dead zombies, they're all, they've, they've been out in the sun a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. They're a little crispy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to do like, you know, water waterlogged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they had a lot of a wet wetness to them and stuff. So. Which would wow. make sense for New Orleans yeah. also yeah. because it's Being below water. sea level. Yeah. It was kind of like Katrina zombies. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> That makes so, sense. That's cool. So we have a spare body part here, mm -hmm. um, but I'm curious as to how I many... I swear I saw it blink. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just want to let you know, we touched it. She and it feels, feels like so real. skin. It feels like real skin. I didn't touch it because um, I'm not there yet. <laughs> how many spare body parts did you guys end up with? Like, what happens to those? Right. We just all um, got Divide them back them? in Los Angeles. <laughs> there, it was. Uh, we had seven pallets all together, so it was like, wow. you know, five by, five by five by five... You know, we had boxes and boxes of, of body, body parts. parts. And they have to get like unpacked and cataloged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. Who gets to do that? <laughs> Somebody at Tins. <laughs> Fun times. Wow. Do they just get like stuck in a in a warehouse somewhere to like it's, be reused or something like that? It, yeah, they can be reused there. Um, okay. But it's mostly for American Horror Story stuff. But um, Tinsley Studio keeps all of the effects stuff. Oh, that's good. So. Do you guys get to keep this lovely lady? We drove lady? home with Kathy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she drove home in the car with us. Uh, in the box, or did she get a little special seat She's on with a seat, seat belt? She has a stand. <laughs> oh, my God. And fan coven, Aaron mm -hmm. and Mike actually asked Kathy's permission to use the head. So thank you, Kathy. Yeah, thank, thank you, Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. Is it. You watch the show. Is it real hair? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Gross. That's why I'm freaked out right now. It's a, it's a wig, and then it's um it's all um, stitched in. in well, it's it's poked, poked actually in. into the oh. silicone. Yeah, oh, the, that, that one is that one is punched. Yeah, the eyebrows. Oh. Well, the eyebrows. Yeah. That's all eyebrows. hand punched individual hairs. Gosh. Wow. How long does something like this take to right. make? Well, when you have time like you're supposed to have <laughs> in normal shows, I mean, you don't know, on films, it would probably take you know three weeks to a yeah. month or something like that. But we we usually have like you know, maybe ten days. Wow. Sometimes wow. we have like a week three days to come up with stuff. And I'm just like, 
you guys ship out whatever you have and we'll finish it. Like right. it's a lot of that stuff. We'll we're have doing. a production meeting on Friday and that's when everybody learns what's going to be in the next episode. Right. And then it's like, well, what are we going to shoot Monday? What do we have here? What can so. we make work that we have here already? And you're like, um, oh, scavenger just, hunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, completely. <laughs> cool. It's like that. Oh, my a gosh. Lot. That's so crazy. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, I love I'm in her. Awe of yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, she should come to our Halloween be. party. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello, RTV done. right now. <laughs> <laughs> done and done. Hopefully, we'll be shooting in Los Angeles. Yeah. But yeah. 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 Um. So we do need to move on. A yeah. Bit. So, um, Cordelia mm -hmm. is the is supreme. supreme. Cordelia is the supreme. Right. Mm -hmm. Not that big of a surprise, just because of the spoilers. A yeah. Bit. Right. Yeah. Our fans out there, you guys kind of kind of spoiled it for us, but we still love you. But we love you for it because you found that um, there were clues. There were clues we in the intro. Yeah. In the opening credits, it was the Woman of Seven Wonders was next to Sarah Paulson's name. Mm -hmm. Was it a tarot card thing? I th it was the yeah. It was a figurine. I think it was the tarot card. Yeah. I wonder what everyone else's means. We'll have to go we'll back and look. We'll have to go back and look. <laughs> Unless someone out there knows and you guys can right. tweet us the info Let now. Us know. Yeah. Um, so I really liked, um, after we found out that Cordelia was the Supreme, that they started to bring witches into the mainstream, mm -hmm. which, right. again, Ryan decided to do a, f a set, uh, like, behind the scenes of an interview, yeah. uh -huh. as Sarah ended last, last season. season with, yep. um, although there was no death. Um, right. I... I loved it. I loved that now witches are cool. Yeah. And Poppy. there are people that don't like witches out there, but whatever. We need to stick together. Well, and targets, if they will always be, tar always be targets for the ignorant. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, <laughs> and it's not a choice. Young witches uh, will always resist. There will always be witches that resist their calling. Mm -hmm. right. They're born this way. I think this is Ryan's uh, yeah. way of saying that there is a faction of our society that is not treated the way that they should be treated, which is inclusively, which is our gay community. Um, and I think we were looking for this all right. season of like, where was he going to put it? You know, right. where was there going to be the big statement? Because he yeah. always makes a big statement, and right. here it is. Right. And it's true, whether you're a witch or a warlock right. or a, a gay person, that you're that's the message is that you should always have a home and a family waiting for you to protect you and a safe house and that's what she was providing so good. and I thought that yeah. was such a beautiful message yeah, yeah that's really that's good. good and the reason so cool. and the reason why this season was so successful is because again he made witches cool right mm -hmm. It was something different. I think that it really worked in his favor that it was so female centric. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, you know, like I mean, when you're hitting the female 18 to 49 demo, yeah. it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, it, it really resonated because I loved. You know, I've loved all of the seasons of American Horror Story. The first one was my favorite. Yeah, me too. Until this season. Yeah. Oh, I wow. agree. And now I, I really like it. I don't know. You guys have worked on it all. Yeah. So which one has been your favorite? Ooh. I liked last year. Me too. Because I liked the asylum. whole asylum. I loved that too. It was probably the, it's so, I think a lot of people have said like, I, I couldn't watch it. It was too realistic. Mm -hmm. It was too, like, I think that it, it, it affected, affected yeah. people that way. Like, that could really happen. Because it's not, you know, the first season's like, oh, it's ghosts, whatever. But um, maybe that's not as scary. Or people aren't as, like, afraid of that as they are. Of them being incarcerated, the wrong right? You know, yeah. well, yeah. being electrocuted. And I know. Stuff. I yeah. cried last season, the finale. I bawled like a small child. I mean, I just was like so moved by it. I think it was it yeah. was affecting and moving. Because yeah, it's true. I mean, what? I think we all have that moment of like, am I crazy? Right. And that happens to everybody. So the idea that there might be repercussions to being crazy. I mean, we're, I'm pretty certain I'm not a witch, and I'm pretty certain that my house <laughs> isn't haunted right. by ghosts. So it's not going to keep me up at night. Right. Right. But mm. I could be crazy. Right. I hope nobody. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. There were and there were times like on set with that season where Sarah would be doing something where they'd be holding her down and like giving her electric shock therapy oh, yeah. and you'd just be like <laughs> oh. yeah. like it was actually bothered the, cast the bitter crew. me yeah. of like somebody that can stand all kinds of gore and everything, but that was like terrifying just to watch it being filmed. Wow. Wow. So, um, so after um 
Foxy is uh, the is the supreme. Goes on the interviews, does all yes. these things. Okay, so our our code names, yeah. right? So Cordelia Fox, Foxy, yeah. and Madison. Sarah knows you call her Foxy because I caught, immediately told her. Oh, you I'm like, oh, that is awesome. When I watched your when I watched your show when you guys yeah. sent it when. Um, Sarah sent it to me. I was like, oh my god, they call you Foxy. She's like, I love that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. MM. I told Emma MM too. Oh, so. good. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, what else did we have? We had Hank the Skank. Hank the Skank. <laughs> and Frank and Kyle. Frank and yeah. Kyle. That's what we called him too. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's natural. Yeah, yeah. That's natural. We're glad. That one's easy. Um, so we huh. find out that Myrtle insists on burning at the stake mm. because of what she did to Quentin mm. and the other one. The witch. eye gouging yeah. and then cutting yeah. them up. Yeah. Yeah, and broke. Yeah. Because she really enjoyed that. Remember, she was. She, she, she had a little down. She's like spiral. clapping the legs together. Yes. She clapped the legs she together after. Loved she loved it. And I, I remember predicting her downward spiral, which was clearly not a good prediction, but it ended with her. You know, leading the parade in her red Balenciaga dress towards yeah. towards her funeral pyre, darling. <laughs> that was so a good. really good impression yeah, that was good. of her voice. That was Thank amazing. You, yeah, You've that, you been practicing that for sure. I haven't, but. <laughs> <laughs> but her last words were Balenciaga, which made me really happy. <laughs> I loved it. It was like quiet, and you go. Did she just, just say Balenciaga? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, she did. Because her references Balenciaga. throughout the season have just so been amazing. so amazing. amazing and just so out of left field that it's just like. And there's so much. To, you can go back and probably hear more stuff if you I'm watch sure. it again. Because right. the stuff that she does is incredible. So good. Well, and you guys said it was freezing also, and it looked like a, the most beautiful day on earth. We were like in full <laughs> gear, like full down gear, you know, with like the whole thing. And those, they were out there with, you know, bare legs and everything. And it was oh very my cold. Gosh. It was like 20. You guys were out there. Oh, we yeah, were you doing were the uh, bald cap on. Uh, on oh, Fiona. Oh, Fiona uh, with her J. Yeah. We shot that the same day. Although so. our trailer was still freezing. So. Yeah, your trailer was cold. <laughs> uh, speaking of Myrtle, yes. uh, I want to hear about the burn makeup. Oh, because yeah. Was it actually her that was charred with the makeup on laying, or was that, again, another like, nope, fake? No, that, that was yeah. Francis. Wow. wow. And they, they brought us, like, maybe, I don't know how much a yard of a of a cloth is, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it was all this like big burnt thing, and they go, "This is what she's wearing," and we were like, "That's barely enough to cover her bits." Right. right. <laughs> so we just basically painted her black and threw that on top of her. Oh my god! Like, you know. So it was all out of kit, which yeah. is basically just like when you're pulling stuff out and going like, oh, we can make this work. And there was a lot of that this season yeah. of like, this is what we have to do. It's shooting tomorrow. What can we do? <laughs> so there was a lot of that. When Myrtle came out of the uh, the the dirt. Oh right. Remember that? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we did that in twenty minutes. Yeah, it was like wow. it was like four people. Was... So they're like, <laughs> we have twenty minutes left to shoot. Yeah. We're gonna wrap. Either either get, get it, it done or it doesn't get shot. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh my gosh. Look at twenty minutes. Uh, you know, we were kind of like biting our nails, going, we're oh gonna get God, laughed yeah. out of the makeup community. <laughs> yeah. We, we called it that makeup. The makeup was so, <laughs> Harry Tater Tot what? that rolled under the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, Wah. but it worked. Yeah, it, it looked totally, incredible. Until we were like, oh my uh, God. that worked. That's crazy <laughs> that that worked. We get that scared. We're like, oh, we're like, we pulled it off. Thank oh you. my God, who? And they're like, and that's a wrap. And you're just, everyone just disperses, and here she is with this. Oh, it's crazy. time to get cleaned up. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it's that's nuts. so cool. The life of an actress is very glamorous, yeah. people. And she yeah. also had, the, you know, the, we did the prosthetics on her too, the healed prosthetics, mm -hmm. where she was right. like, oh, I'm healing so quickly, and all right. that. So. Okay. There's a lot so of stages. Cool. Well, cool. We see Fiona, who is just, I mean, we, we've seen so many levels of Jessica throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Stunningly beautiful, mm -hmm. terrifyingly scary. Mm -hmm. um, she was comfortable with seeing herself like that. <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to see themselves that way. <laughs> I mean, like, that's your staring at death's door. Right. Literally. She's like, as long as I have a scarf and I can walk around with a scarf on and not have to be walking around <laughs> the lot. The minute lot. we got done with the makeup, she's like, where's the scarf? We're like, hold on, let me get you one because she wanted to go to catering and not freak people out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's very dedicated. She's like, okay, let's go, let's go full bore. Yeah. So. I imagine if you went to catering, like, to go eat with right. everyone and you were in your bald cap and looking scary, I mean, people would just stare. Right. But as you guys notice, no matter how scary the, you know, the hair and makeup looked, her eyes yes. yeah. were just like a little puppy dog. Just like, I mean, 
that's the telltale sign of a great actress. Yeah. You know, no matter how many things you can put on, you're still conveying that deep emotion right. behind everything. Well, in that scene alone, we saw so many different sides of Fiona and her relationship oh with her daughter, and it was yeah. just so beautiful the way that her the story great. was told. Her yeah. legs looked amazing. <laughs> she has oh the most God. beautiful legs. Yeah. I'm looking at her legs Incredible. and her face. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> like, take the I legs. have to say, Fiona putting the vision and memory on the Axeman, genius. like, totally genius. Didn't we did it call it last week, though, that we didn't think she was right. done, because right. that would have been too easy. Yeah. It got um, a little touch and go towards the end. I was like, ooh, we only have, like, eight minutes left. I know. Left. We kept looking Fiona. at the watch thinking, what's yeah. going to happen? What's going to happen? But it was funny. She said she ruined a perfectly good pair of Jimmy Choo's yeah. to perform that thing with right. the goat blood. <laughs> But for her to admit that, you know, you took my power the moment I gave birth to you, to Cordelia, and have this, like, raw, intimate scene with her daughter where she's, like, simultaneously admitting, no, I don't really maybe like you, but I mm. love you. And But you, I loved you in a different way. I loved way. you in a different way, and I loved you in my own way. And I don't know that that would ever be enough, yeah. but Cordelia gets to kind of grieve and mourn for that little girl that didn't get to have a mom. Well, and I love when they hugged and she was like, I don't think we've ever hugged before. I was like, oh. That's so sad. I know. And it, that's also the moment that right. her mom goes. Right. And to see her be so vulnerable and to cling, like so thin and vulnerable and to cling in that embrace with the tears streaming down her face and she has no <laughs> eyebrows. And it's just right. like, who, who is this woman? See, I, I covered my face. Because oh I my really God, you tear up. I re no, I didn't tear up. Okay. I really thought that something was gonna happen. Like, like she was she gonna, was she gonna like knife her in the Me back. Me too. Well, she was like touching that knife, and I was like, oh crap! Like that's it. She's and gonna you know kill what? her. How strong did Cordelia have to be to put the knife down and hold her? Because right. I and also thought her. the same thing. Like, don't trust that woman. I don't care right. if she's your mother. <laughs> right. She's a backstabber, and she's got a knife. Right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't see that embrace, Jillian. Hmm? You, didn't you didn't see the see embrace. The embrace. Oh, no, I, did, the I did see the embrace, moment. and I saw when oh, she you got scared. passed in the arms. But I was just like, something's gonna happen. This is too. This is too nice of a moment to end on. So what do you guys? I thought that Fiona wouldn't be able to go to hell, or I just thought that because she didn't have a soul to trade to Papa Legba, that she would somehow get out of it. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Because she tried to make a deal well, with the devil, and he was like, oh, you have no soul to trade. We can't make a deal. Because her soul right. was already destined for <laughs> hell. Right. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. I loved her hell. I loved her hell, and I totally knew that's what it was going to be. Yeah. She's got stuck with the axe man <laughs> on the farm with the catfish. Yep. yep. <laughs> and the, and her having to get the milk and yeah. have the roosters crowing in the morning is her absolute mm. hell. I get used to that. We we every time hands. she'd say the naughty pine line, we'd all just die. <laughs> oh my god, we, were like, we died. Like, oh. trying to be quiet, but it was like, it was unbelievably amazing. Hilarious. Is, is she lives on a farm. Yeah. She does? does yeah, she? yeah, yeah. So Jessica Lang is a, is a, is a farm, farm girl? Yeah. Woman. Uh huh. Farms the, oh, farms the outdoor guy. I never would have guessed that either, but you were saying she's an outdoorsy lady. Oh, yeah. So well, you have shown her in, like she was say, uh, Jillian was saying, in these different age ranges. But what her luminescence as a young, as a young and vibrant looking supreme. Are there any secrets you can tell us about yeah. makeup techniques for those of us that want to oh look like gosh. that all the time? <gasps> or just major heavy duty. Of <laughs> yeah. Because Mariana's those like, of yes. us who want to look like that all, all the time, time. Yeah. while because I'm you sleeping, even, you or even like did Angela it. Bassett looks I know. flawless Amazing. as well. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks. Um, well. You know, it's you start with an amazing canvas. I mean, it's, right. you're just doing stuff to make that more amazing. But um, it's uh, there's a little, a couple little tricks. You know, do, uh, doing some little little highlights on top of the cheekbone and just things that um, highlighters that pick up um, the light. The lights. And so, it, like, really, it fills in spots that make so it makes it much more luminescent. And um, you know, do trying you to still say natural. Yeah. And you also have really say, good do lighting. Do you have favorite products, or do you just use like a all-encompassing like a bunch of stuff? Well, we use all kinds of stuff, but this year because we were in New Orleans and the humidity mm. was ridiculous from July till oh, just right. about before Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> just about before Thanksgiving, and then it got super cold. Mm. Um, we use um, Stila Stay All Day Foundation, and it has a, like a, um, a concealer in the lid. So we I use that a lot, cool. and we use that on almost everybody. It was just like it just worked really well, and it looked beautiful on camera. And done. I'm purchasing mm. it. Hot tub. And, it, and it's like a matte, so it doesn't have that like super. You could you can add in the illuminescent that you want. So and we cool. do lots of blush and 
lots of pretty colors and <laughs> just make everyone so look cool. beautiful. Oh, okay. thank you. We forgot to talk about and then great team demise. Yes. Yeah, she died. <laughs> <laughs> MM is dead. She Nobody's got strangled to death. Nobody's heart was broken. My heart broke. Heart broke. But yeah, she got strangled by Frank and Kyle, which, I mean, I love that they're engaged in real life. And I'm had sad to choke that her out. no one's getting crotchless panties. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, you're right. That's a sad story. But I, nobody laughed except for Sarah when I said, oh, this must have been, this must have, like, oh, right. brought about their engagement. <laughs> this was, like, the foreplay to their engagement. Oh. I think they like shot it after. They were already engaged. Yeah, I was going to say, they shot it after. Um, It's next year's hint, by the way. Crotchless panties. Crotchless panties. panties. Oh, my God. Porn. Um, So I know that we're pretty much done talking about the episode, but I wanted to ask about Papa Legba's makeup. Because we loved everything from his eyes to his nails. Mm -hmm. So how did you create this character? Was it based off of a look that you'd seen before? It was based off quite a bit, actually. Ryan said, yeah. as usual, he's like, I want it not to look like a skull because um, Papa Legba typically, which is a real deity, right. mm-hmm. has a skull makeup. And so we had done so many skulls already that we didn't want to do that. So um, he said, I want it to be white. I want it to be super scary. And I want him to have red eyes. And I want him to have a gold Coke pinky ring. Pinky. <laughs> 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 and he goes, and I want it to look different than anything you've ever done. And I was like, oh, okay, no pressure. Mm-hmm. So um, we started, I started like thinking, 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 and then it came to me that I wanted it to be kind of like this washy thing. And so I called, um, I was in New York at this time. I was in New York doing the normal heart. Mm-hmm. So everything was done by emails, and he was getting fitted for contact lenses, teeth, and um, his casting um, he had something. Oh, wig fitting. Oh yeah. So um, Lance, she Lance, was gone for two weeks. Lance Reddick. Yeah, I was gone for two weeks. <laughs> and it was the hardest two weeks. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah. So we ended up. Um, Chris Nelson. I called him and I said, I need you to do the Papa Nick leg room makeup. And he said, I have this idea of incorporating a friend of ours, Chet Czar, his art into it. And he goes, and I said, oh my God, that's perfect. So it was kind of like this whole group thing. My friend Christina Patterson, who did all of our contact lenses, has done oh, them God. for me for years. Wow. She basically designed three red eyes like in two hours, emailed them to me. I showed Ryan because Ryan was directing the normal heart. He's like, I want that one. And it ended up like within like three days that all came together. Amazing. And he was shot on camera on That's Friday. So cool. yeah. Like it was just so one of those cool. really crazy things. I mean, and we, it just we did came. the test on Wednesday. Yeah. And they wanted to shoot on Friday. So it was crazy. <laughs> I think we, we did like an, another those. test on Thursday. So it was just like it all and then lose costume and the Great. beautiful wig that Monty did and um yeah, it just all came together. But he is one of my very favorite characters yeah. of the whole season. Oh, my gosh. He was one of ours. I yeah. mean, we, when he appeared on screen and it was that close-up yes. of his so face, it was really ups. scary. It was beautiful, yeah. too, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, we looked at it. Chris did a beautiful it, job. Chris did a beautiful yeah. job. And we were just completely in awe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that was personally my devil. favorite makeup I job so, of the too. season. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it was beautiful. And it's um, also there's, you know, he's got the gold tooth and... Um, I kind of added the gold tooth, I think, because I wanted it to go with his pinky. And then <laughs> Ryan said, and I want, like, nails with it, too. I was like, okay, we got it. Yeah. Check, 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 check. So, <laughs> yeah. and, and then Chris made those nails. Chris like made those nails. A couple hours. Yeah. Wow. wow. So I can't believe how such fast a ra- you guys it was rushed. Do stuff. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So, we only have about two more minutes mm, yes. with you, lovelies. Um, do you guys have any burning yeah. questions? Oh, my God. Like, I. Anything? Uh, we oh have them God. here. I know. I know. I'm like dying. <laughs> I, want, I really did want us to be able to find out where we can find them and say goodbye to our fans. Yeah. I know. It's been a wonderful That's probably a good idea. Yeah. So tell our fans where they can look for your upcoming work or follow you on Twitter. If Obviously, you have you're going to be on, on American Horror Story Season 4. Yes. Yes. As and, far as I know, I, I asked Ryan, know. do you still want me on? He said, yeah. yes, I do. <laughs> they so, know what it's about. Good. Yeah. Oh, we, well, we couldn't get it out yeah, of them. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> um, you can find me on Twitter at Frankenqueen, and you are at Mike McCash, right? Yep. M E K A S H. M E K A S H. And then we're on we're on Facebook and stuff too. So awesome! Yay. Hey, we'll definitely find them. Yes. Yes. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at you can call me Skiff. I am on Twitter at Sarah on the Go, Sarah with an H. Uh, I'm on Instagram at Jilly Leff or on Twitter at Jillian Leff. And don't forget to watch my other after show, The Fosters, oh, on yeah. Monday nights. 
On Instagram, you can follow me, Oriana Leo. Twitter is Miss Oriana Leo. And also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am launching a new show called mm-hmm. Running Errands in Hollywood with Oriana Leo. Nice. So subscribe to my channel, and you will get the uh, updates for that show. And also, I'd like to shout out Ian Westland, who filled in for me when I was not oh, here. Yeah, he, he is launching awesome. his show called Day Drunk Gaze, which is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, just the title Amazing. is funny. Um, it's hilarious, and that's going to be launching in about two weeks as well. Oh, so great. look him up. He's at Ian Westland on Twitter, too. Thank well, you. thank you to Mike and Aaron yeah. for joining Cheers. us. Cheers. 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 Thank you so much for having yeah. us. And everyone here at the After Buzz TV studios, we want to say thank you all for joining us over this amazing season. Thank you, yeah. fan coven. Well, thank you. We will see you next season. Next season. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Kevin. From Bates executive head. producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.